All right, you guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started today. And we'll just, as people hop in, just say hey, and I'll say hey back. And I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my PowerPoint. And get that sharing going. So today we're going to go over the Beauty Through Wellness um, bridal presentation. And I am Katherine Lang, and I'm excited to give this presentation to you guys and to really just share with you some really incredible information. Um, the topic today is going to be five powerful steps every bride can take to ensure she enjoys her pre-wedding bliss without ruining her health and beauty goals. And as a nutritionist, as I started getting into the field, I started meeting so many women, of course, that had a lot of the same concerns. But one of the things that happened is they would always feel like they couldn't enjoy the journey. And I'm like, no, like we still have to enjoy life and achieve our, our health and beauty goals. And so it was one of those things, like imagine if you had a wedding planner, all the incredible things the wedding planner did, you know, ordered the napkins, set up the venue, and ordered the M&Ms with your name on it, all the little bitty things that you don't have time to look up and do, plus a virtual assistant who can also help set everything in place for your whole body transformation. Like, Imagine how much you could accomplish. So I just wanted to talk some real talk, real talk statistics with you guys. And I was researching and interviewing some people, lots of women in the industry, and the statistic came out to be that 71% of people said that wedding planning was more stressful than buying a home, public speaking, or even losing a job. Like, that is incredible amount of stress. And how much of that stress takes a toll on us as an individual and on our health and on our, our happiness. And then we're trying to still achieve our goals, achieve our health goals and get to the big day. And we realize that diet is a lot of it, exercise is a lot of it, but the statistic says that 75% is diet. Diet is a large portion. And so we can exercise our way we cannot exercise our way into that dress. You know, we can absolutely, it's necessary, it's important, but we have to change our diet. And that's something that I want to talk about today are some of those real key lifestyle things that we can, we can throw in that are going to help us get to those goals. You know, this statistic was really shocking for me. The yo-yo diets said 80 people will spend, women will spend 83% of their life yo-yo dieting. And 95% of people will fail. And the one thing I want to bring out today is 95% of diets fail people in a lifetime. It's not really that, you know, we failed. It's that this, this, it wasn't set in a place. And again, we're going back to the, the stress of life, the stress of planning a wedding, a stress of the goals that we want to accomplish. And the statistics for this year will be 25% of women will struggle with depression one or more times this year. And that's something else that's near and dear to my heart. And I want to help people overcome and transcend those barriers. So that's why I created this class is because I hear so often women with huge amounts of fear and confusion over what to do, what's best for me. Like they're, they have no time, they have no extra time. Like how do I fit this in? And they have a fear of failure. You know, we have definitely been in a society that if we don't really know what to do, we keep doing what we've always done or we stay complacent. And so it's either we're standing here not doing anything or we run all the way back to where we were, even when we've made those strides. And that's something that I want to overcome and give you guys a few really key steps today that will help you overcome all of these things that are listed above. You know, we want you to have, we want you to be an empowered and vibrant and glowing bride on your big day. And we want you to continue that health and vibrancy throughout your marriage and through your future. And I don't want you to feel stressed and confused. I want you to be able to look back on this day with joy and excitement and confidence and really a being proud of what you've done for yourself. So who am I and why am I even qualified to have this webinar to you lovely ladies, um, all of this information. So I've been in the industry for nearly eight years. I've worked in health food stores. I've worked for supplement com companies and nutrition companies of all varieties. Um, I've been a functional, I'm a functional medicine practitioner. I have my master's in functional medicine and that's me graduating. That's my mama. And we were in Portland, Oregon, the university of the Western States. And I am a certified clinical nutritionist. And so these were, these are um, steps that I've taken to one, learn the industry, but this is why I, I hear your cries. Like I know what you're looking for. And I hear the talk and the self-talk, and I want to help you overcome those things. So I created this 
That's why I created this. So one of the things I'm celebrated as is the clean nutritionist, the supplement guru, as you can see on the last slide, the chic hippie and the magical unicorn of replacing ingredients. You guys, I love to eat. And so I had to take all of those really, all those things that I love and make them healthier because I'm a little foodie. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you why I've earned all these titles by giving you five steps to leave you glowing and feeling your best on your big day. So there's nothing for sale today, only knowledge shared and free gifts for the journey. So stay with me until the end. I just want to start with, I completely understand where you're at. Like I walked into this health journey and everything felt like I was, it was great. Like didn't know what anything meant. I felt I was in the dark. Like, what do I do? Who do I call? Who do I trust? And most importantly, like what is right for me? Like what is really healthy? And you know, I looked at the mainstream secrets, nothing was really working and I wasn't getting better. You guys, like my GI was an absolute mess. I would lay in bed at night and I could hear it grumble. I didn't have good bowel movements. Like I was not where I needed to be. My nails were brittle. My allergies were completely out of control. My skin and my acne, I don't even want to talk about it. And I literally stood there, had no idea. And then one day I met a doctor, a functional medicine practitioner, a nutritionist. And he said something to me that really blew my mind. And he said to me, you have to get to two to three bowel movements a day. Because that's just something so small, something so little that my mind was like, hold up, never heard that before. I maybe have one every other day if I'm lucky. And in that moment, I had to choose. I could either listen to what he was saying, and learn more, or I had to say the same. And so I chose, I chose taking another route. I chose education. I chose learning what true nutrition was and holistic nutrition, what strategy was. You guys, strategy is huge. And that's something I'm going to teach about today is a lot of these things you've might've heard before, but you were just given the information and Fin for what you will, like good luck with it. Like I want to teach you strategy with the information. And that was something that I went to school for. When I got my master's, I really looked at what were the things that really helped and what were those key points and mindset. I had to change my mindset. What was always working was no longer working. I wasn't getting better. My, I mean, my friends weren't getting better and we were all doing a lot of the same things because that's what we all do, right? And I had to switch my mindset. I had to look with, I had to look out and find new information and yeah. I had to learn about my body. I had to learn about chemicals in our food and in our body, on our beauty products. Ladies, like we put on all of these chemicals on our bodies and we, our thyroid is our biggest problem. Our thyroid is our biggest stressor and we put in all these chemicals and then we wonder, and then we don't, we don't even know anything about endocrine blocking. Like, why does that hurt our bodies? We have to learn about those things. Unnecessary food ingredients. I learned to read labels like a boss. Let me tell you, that's not something I put on my resume, but it's something I had to learn to overcome and transcend the barriers of my health. I study nutrition, true holistic nutrition, you guys. And I learned how to cleanse, balance, and build my body. And the 60 trillion cells that make up the human body. And the one thing I learned was our cells make our tissues and our tissue make our organs and our organs make us. So the health of our cells and the health of the nutrients that we're putting into our body makes us stronger every single day. And so because all of those cells become stronger, become stronger tissues and healthier humans. So all of this led to a regaining of my health. But I also realized like there's so many people out there who have no idea about holistic nutrition and functional medicine. And I had a deep heart there to meet people where they're at. And that was something that that doctor did with me. He met me where I'm at. He says, here's two or three things to start today. And when you get better there, we're going to do two or three more things. I regained my health. And today I want to cover some of those steps that I hold near and dear to my journey for you to take on with you into your new life, your new marriage. So here's some pictures of me going to the people. Like I went to the news. I got with um, a, a local cosmetic company or cosmetic and aestheticians and all of them. And they do all brides. They do 
they pair, pair with the photographers and I got with them and said, let's, let's get to the brides. Like that is something that was very passionate about me at that time. All of my friends were getting married and I really wanted to help them walk into their new life. And so here's some pictures of me on, on our local news. I go on pretty frequently and it's, it's been a great journey. So some of the things that I've encountered with my clients in particular is I've seen them lose weight. They've regained their health. You guys, GI tract balance is everything. When your GI tract is in line, whoa, like the health results will soar. Strong hair and nails, allergies. That's a huge thing. We live in the South and we constantly, we have allergies 12 months out of the year. And so um, that's something we have to really take consi you know, into consideration here. Bloating, a lot of that's inflammation and backed up bowel movements, how to overcome that. Acne and hormones, ladies, glowing skin is everything that we want. And I want to help you overcome that. So here we're going to go over some true nutrition, cleansing in a way that you've never seen before, I promise. Timing, hidden ingredients, some things that I want you to keep in mind when you're shopping and how to help speed up some results. So what we're going to cover today are six powerful ingredients you can use to accelerate your bridal glow and eliminate bloating, foods that you should avoid, some detox steps that are safe and effective, and like I said, you've never seen this before, supplement boosters that are safe and effective. I'm going to go over some of those and some timing. So I know you've not taken, I know you've seen a lot of these steps. I'm sure you've heard them, but you've never quite done them in the way that I'm going to teach you. And that's something that's very passionate to me. And that's strategy, you guys. So each of these steps that you, I give you today, like get out a pen and paper, you can take them, you can go home and do them today. And I'm going to send you guys some really cool information after the webinar in your email. It's going to be, um, to really help you along these lines. So we're gonna start with the Bridal Beauty Smoothie. Again, we're not just gonna pick a smoothie. We're not just gonna throw some things in a blender. We're going to pick wisely. So we're gonna talk about glowing and not bloating. So we're going to improve the digestion and why this is important. And something I wanna think about is, what does breakfast really stand for? It means we're breaking the fast of the night before. So the very first thing that you consume in the morning is the most powerful. It has to be high nutrients and it needs to be really safe and easy on the GI. I mean, I want you to just throw in nutrients first thing in the morning when you wake up because your body's going to suck it up and it's going to power you all day long. So one of the things I love to start with is a smoothie. Um, the reason why I like smoothies over juices, love juices, smoothies still have all the fiber. And that's something we are talking about. We're trying to get our GI tract in alignment and the fiber really is powerful. So we're going to talk about, we need to look at like why these suit, why these supplements and why these um, smoothies are so powerful. So we're going to work on clearing up your skin, glowing complexion, getting rid of the belly bloat. Like what foods get rid of belly bloat? What foods are really good for under the eyes and wrinkles and glowing? You know, how do we fight cravings? And we're going to improve our bowel movement. So these are some of the things that a great, well-balanced smoothie will do. So here's an example when I talk about strategy, you guys. The best foods for dark circles under your eyes and puffiness, right? Vitamin K. So what foods are higher in vitamin K than others? So there's my little disclaimer there. If you're on blood thinners, do be careful. That's the functional medicine side of me coming out. But do be careful in the vitamin K. Um, they also have, the, so, so some of these things that are high in vitamin K happen to also be your dark leafy greens. They also provide other vital nutrients and beauty minerals and for glowing skin. So again, we're talking about that strategy, that full circle, that full health. So spinach, basil, turnip greens, broccoli, cucumbers, lettuce, cabbage, asparagus, and prunes. Not all of these you'd want to put in your smoothie, but you might put them on your plate at dinner time a little more often than you would have normally now that you know how powerful they are. So again, that strategy. So it's the spinach and the basil and the cucumber in your smoothie is amazing. So here we go. Your favorite greens, kale, spinach, arugula, dandelion. But I want to really look at, again, the skin and the liver. So spinach, we just talked about, it keeps your skin free of bacteria and impurities leading to a glowing skin. So that's why spinach and kale are so powerful. They're also, let's look at like arugula and parsley. They're great for the immune system and they're great for detoxing the liver, which is our skin organ. So these are a double whammy. We're not only helping the liver, which the health of our liver is indicative to our skin always. So just Google the best foods for the liver, how the liver affects the skin. Like you guys will be blown away, ladies. So, and that's something that you get a double whammy. Again, great immune system. You, have, you ladies are going through so much stress right now. You're trying to I mean, plan a wedding, pick a venue, 
pick out a cake and pick out food. I mean, it is amazing. I'm so, I commend you. And it, I want to keep you strong for that. I want to keep your immune system crazy supported because you don't have time to get sick. And that is something I, I definitely stress about. And I will start talking about on the Facebook group a little more is immune system boosting to get you through this time. So here are some things that be specific of what you put in your smoothie. Okay. And here are some examples. So bloating and puffiness, cucumbers, ginger, celery, romaine, and apples. Okay. Pick one of those every single day and put it in a smoothie. Skin, carrots, blueberries, lemons, coconut, which is the higher fat. We love the fat, the good fat, the healthy fats, the MCTs. Goji and acai, which are super fruits. They are crazy high nutrients, macro and micronutrients, and they're powerful for the skin. The antioxidant, the polyphenols is through roof. Fiber. Fiber is not only good for our bowel movements, we we're talking about that, the fullness. So we want to feel full. We want to curve that appetite. So throw in some flax and some apples, bananas. And ladies, I'm going to give you some recipes at the end. So don't completely freak out. I'm going to give you some examples, but I want you to have this knowledge. Fruit. A pear, an apple, some berries, watermelon, those are all very powerful for the skin, very powerful for the GI, and they give you some sweetness. There's no sense in using sweetener in our smoothies. We can get that naturally from our fruit. We're removing all those extra sugars, and we're going to get into that later. We're going to choose almond milk and coconut milk. You guys, dairy is devastating to the GI tract. It will rack, absolutely wreak havoc on your skin So and your GI, so just eliminate it for right now as little as possible like if you go out with your girlfriends and you have a glass of wine and you have a cheese board that's one thing but just get it out of the house if you don't need it on a daily promise so now we're going to talk about the balance is real okay so this is again strategy keep the balance three veggies two fruits four veggies three fruits throw those in your smoothie some fiber some protein and some liquid, non-dairy, no sugar. Okay, now we're going into the nourishing detox. Yes and no's, not just water. You guys, there's no reason. Not just the water. I mean, one day, maybe two days, if it's a medical reason, never a dry fast. You have to have the liquid to get the toxins out of your body, okay? We don't want you living in the bathroom. Some things we don't think about is we do need a little bit of food for stage two liver detoxification. So I'm going to give you some ways to incorporate those and to continue to detox to get all of those nutrients in there that will help with the liver detoxification, all right? So why do we detox? We need natural, the body naturally does it, yes, but we are so bombarded with chemicals in our food and our water that we really need to allow the body to rest. We really need to help it out. And so that's one of the things that like a true nourishing detox does. It is allows the body to rest and it allows you to flush your body full of nutrients super, super quick. And so that's gonna really help with the cravings, the healing, the weight loss. Like we have to have nutrients to lose weight. Your body won't lose it if it thinks it's starving. So a way to do, write these down, a way to do the nourishing detox. Three smoothies a day, breakfast, mid-morning, afternoon snack, all right? Two cups of soup. We're going to do a blended pureed vegan soup, but this is again where you're gonna get some food. So we're gonna do lunch and dinner, just like you normally would. So you still feel like you have a little bit of food. In the evening, do some warm coconut milk and some spices. And here are some ways that you can do these, um, this nourishing detox. One a day for a week, one day every week, pick Wednesday, Sunday, whatever day it is, you do it all day long. Um, three days in a row every month. I like that one. I pick like the 9th, 10th, and 11th every month, and that's one of the ways I do my, my detox, my cleansing. Or once you get past the season and you want to keep this going on, I want every, every season, seven days every season, five days every season. All right? So stay with me to the end, and I have some things to share with you on that. Crescendo fasting. So we've all heard of intermittent fasting and how powerful it really is love intermittent fasting. It's very, very powerful. It's used for balance, you know, hormone balancing, sugar balancing, mental clarity, um, improves weight loss, even brain power. But how do we do it more effective for women, safe and effective for us? Like we're not just going to shoot in the dark. How do we find out what really works for you? And the one thing we have to think about is our hormones. Being a woman, we're a little bit different than our male friends. We cannot fast the way that they can. All right. So I love um, intermittent fasting, the apophagy, the mental clarity. That's my kittles. Hello, babe. So 
safe and effective. So over here to the right, it says there is a direct relationship between our brain and our ovaries. The brain sends signals the ovaries to release estrogen and progesterone. The communication has to be efficient in order for women to feel good. If our body at all thinks we're going into starvation mode, it's going to freak out, ramp up our hunger hormone, grinulin, and in order to make us want to eat more because we're trying to protect a fetus. That is just natural. And most of us right now are in childbearing years. And so this is something we have to consider. This is why I say the hangries are real. You guys, let me tell you, the hangries are real. And don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Here it is. And so we have to be careful about how we do this. So let's go to how to do this safely. It's called crescendo fasting. You can Google that one. Fast for two non-consecutive days in a week, Monday and a Thursday. If you're trying to do weight, lose weight after two weeks, you can add a third day. So this is something you can use for weight loss or even just for improving energy, apophagy, getting rid of bad cells and, you know, increasing the cell production of better cells. Right now we're flushing our body full of all this nutrients. So it's a good time to try, even if it's just two days a week, see how you feel. And then attempt 12 hour fasting for the first two weeks and then gradually increase to 16. You guys, and then ladies, if you feel like that you're doing really good and you want to add an extra day, do so. But I want you to start slow and I want you to listen to your body, okay? You're hangries, I need you to slow down and start over, okay? But think about what you're eating on the days before and the days after too. You really, you know, if you're gonna do Monday and Thursday, then Monday and Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday be really good and the rest of the time have a great time you know, still be a little mindful, but it gives you a little bit of leeway to still enjoy cake testing and wine dinners and going out with your girlfriends for the bachelorette parties. Like I want you to be able to have that life. And this is another way to do it. So remember, you cannot fast your way out of a bad diet into that dress. So during that time, please continue to eat safe carbs, clean proteins, lots of veggies. So death by sugar, you guys, this one is powerful. I will send you guys a printout, so don't freak out too much about taking too many notes. But according to the World Health Organization, one of the reason why I talked about sugar is one, it's hidden in everything. And we're going to make a list of things that I want you to go to your refrigerator, go to your cabinet, stop at the grocery store and flip over that label because you're going to be blown away. We already know the, you know, the powerful negative effects that come from excessive sugar, table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, all the sugar alcohols, okay? So according to the World Health Organization, sugar is, the, is a major, if not the main cause of chronic metabolic disease and obesity. So no more than 10% of your daily caloric intake should come from sugar. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not somebody that wants you to get down to counting macros and micros. I mean, that's great if you do, but I really want you to pay attention to this one. No more than 10% of your daily caloric intake should come from sugar. Based on a 1500 calorie diet, which is pretty standard for women, only 150 calories should be from sugar. That's 37 grams or nine teaspoons. The average American consumes, are you ready? 19 teaspoons and 82 grams a day. That's 66 pounds of added sugar and we don't even realize it. Like that's not candy bars, that's added sugar into things that we normally eat, like spaghetti sauce, ketchup, barbecue sauce, okay? American Heart Association recommends that we eat no more than 100. So that's six teaspoons and 20 grams. Okay, remember that, six teaspoons, 20 grams. We're gonna go to this page. Look at this thing on the, this list on the right. None of this, none of this cereal, your orange juice, your peanut butter, your bread, you know, a soda is, is not necessary, but this is a standard American pasta, salad dressings, sweet tea, 41 grams of added sugar. We were supposed to stay under 20. That was there. And there wasn't a candy bar. Okay. So look at, this is barbecue sauce, ketchup, cereal. Here's a whole list of things that you would not even expect. So thankfully in 2018, the FDA said, all foods have to come with a label showing natural sugar, which is gonna be the sugar that's automatically in the food, like a tomato has some sugar, onions, have, like little things like that. It's gonna be listed. And then underneath it, it's gonna say added sugar. Always read your labels. So if it's added sugar, you know that it's not necessarily needs to even be in there. But at least you can identify what type of sugar, whether it's like a honey or a cane sugar or like a maltodextrin or something. So um, let's look at this barbecue sauce. For two teaspoons, it's 14 grams of sugar. We've already like destroyed almost our daily allowance. And that's in two teaspoons of 
barbecue sauce. Now, I don't know about you ladies, but if it comes to pasta or salad dressing or ketchup, I'm one of those that's like, do you want a little bit of lettuce with your salad dressing? Because I want to smother everything. And I don't know if it's a Southern thing or what, but I want to put ketchup and barbecue sauce and everything. So here's a list of some things that I did not expect. Lunch meat, flavored yogurts, coffee, cream, Mertz. Throw away your coffee creamer and go get like a coconut unsweetened coffee creamer. They make them. Natural Grocers, Whole Foods, they're amazing. Um, Non-fat anything. Just, just say no. Anytime you remove the fat, you add sugar. When you remove fat, it literally tastes like cardboard. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Cardboard. So they have to add the sugar in. So that's something I want you to keep track of. Like go look at the non-fat and you're going to compare it. And almost nine times out of 10, it's going to have higher sugar. So calories in versus calories out, it's not always true, you guys. We're going to look at nutrient deficiencies. That's something that I'm very passionate about, and that is why we are hungry all the time. And so here's some things that we look at, like we cannot exercise. I just put this in here to be like a 20 ounce Coke is an hour and 15 minutes of riding the bike, and we got nothing for those calories, nothing. We didn't get any nutrients for this body. And that's called strategy. One more time, strategy. So if we remove everything in the grocery store that has added sugar, there'll be 20% of the store left. I mean, whoa. Okay, so supplement boosters. Um, I know not everybody's into supplements. I am one of those that's very, very particular. As you saw at the beginning of it, I've worked in the industry for years. I've worked in health food stores. I did get a master's in functional medicine and we had to learn about supplements and nutrition and herbs and vitamins and minerals and all of that and adding. So some of the things I want to talk about that a lot of the debunked myths I hear is that there's not a standard. There absolutely is a standard. If you pick up a USDA organic supplement, it is USDA organic certified. Quality does matter. There are some brands that are better than others, but within the industry, there is a whole lot of regulation and there's a whole lot of standard within themselves. Everybody wants to be the best and they're gonna fight for the best and there's going to be truly the better companies are gonna hold everybody to a higher standard. So go to your health food store, Google your companies, you know, shoot me an email, a text, something. I will help you pick out safe, effective companies and you know, shop local. Supplements are simply as they suggest they're replacing something that's lacking. So unfortunately, these days, we can't really get all of our nutrients from food. It's real, it's real talk. It's not something we like to hear, but it's real. The US Congress said in 1936 that the minerals, that our mineral deficient soils would cause mineral deficient diseases. That was something that they forecasted, I mean, 80 years ago, that's 90 years, that's insane, you guys. And so, and it's true, you know, mineral deficient soils, cause mineral deficient plants, but cause mineral deficient foods, which cause mineral deficient humans and the diseases that we see today, like osteopenia and osteoporosis, it's real. And so trace minerals in our soil dropped 76% from 1940 to 1991. Let me talk to you about why this happened. We replaced manure with fertilizer and that's what happened to our soil dockets. So 12 fruits and vegetables were analyzed and they were 21 to 30% lower than they should have been. And it's unfortunate, it really is. And that this is something we can overcome. This is a transcendent, this is a barrier, and this is something I want you to be open to, all right? So there we go. So some of the things, some of the ones we're gonna talk about today, there we are. MS and sulfur, 90% deficient in our food systems. It plays a key role in our body. No one talks about it, but it replaces it helps so much. So right now the big fat is collagen. MSM sulfur causes your body. It's not sulfa. It's not the drug. So it's completely different. It's what you smell when you go outside and you go camping and it's like the rotten eggs. That's what it is. So it's real natural minerals. So collagen is created by sulfur. Sulfur helps the body produce collagen. It helps your joints and your acne. It's amazing for allergies and for skin clearing up, you know, clearing up your skin, candida, carpal tunnel, and you guys, ladies, mosquitoes won't touch you. I mean, I take five to six grams a day, mosquitoes won't touch you. <laughs> so I don't know why it's amazing, but it was something that um, a doctor told me one time, and I've always thought that was really fascinating. And I've tested it a few times. So probiotics, 
again, we're talking about that real estate inside our GI. We're talking about cravings. We're talking about healing the GI, getting to two to three bowel movements a day. And probiotics are one of those very powerful things. They're, like I said, there's so much real estate and we have to remove the bad and pour in the good. And as we're doing that with the, the juices and as we're doing that with the detoxes and the intermittent fasting, we are removing a lot of the cells and the negative things that we don't need, um, the, the toxins. We're going to pour those probiotics back in and we're going to give the new ones a fighting chance. So GI health, digest and skin allergies. Nowadays you can go and look at like the garden of life line or some of the other ones. And they literally have on there what they're powerful for. And that's because everything is strand specific. Probiotics are not created equal. Please go to your health food store and talk to somebody about it. And strand specific to what the goals are to accomplish. Okay. Um, one of my favorite protein powders is the garden of life fit. I love it because it has the green coffee bean in it, which is powerful for liver cleansing and weight loss and curbing your appetite. And then ashwagandha, which is for depression, stability of mood, it's our happy. So that's all in one protein powder. Throw that in your smoothie in the morning and you're getting so many great results. Superfruits, lots of nutrients. I love superfruits. They are called superfruits because they're powerfully packed with nutrients and vitamins. Okay. So they're like an orange, but they're like, you know, on fire. I mean, just like souped up energy. So some of my favorites are acai, mangosteen, and noni. Acai and goji are known for like the beauty berry. Mangosteen is inflammation and allergies. Noni is GI. You guys, you only have to take like a half an ounce or an ounce of these. You buy them at the health food store and liquid and just take a little shot of them. They're amazing. They will do so many good things for you. And something I want to put out there for women, considering that's what this entire webinar is about for brides, evening primrose and DHA. Evening primrose is amazing for, is a um, omega-6 for breast tenderness, for polycystic ovarian, for endometriosis, for cramps. It's amazing, ladies. So go look that up. Talk to your ob guy. Many of them are very much aware of evening primrose. And DHA, omega-3. Nordic Naturals make some of the best that I've ever seen. And so I take both of those from them. Women's, so there's some women's health. So here's a list, MSN, probiotics, superfruits, greens, juices. A lot of ladies come and they say, I don't have time to make a smoothie. I got to run out the door to keep it in my office. Go buy an organic greens juice. Garden of Life makes one, Nature's Plus makes one. Organic. And the reason why I say organic is because you're compressing so many fruits and vegetables into one juice. And if there's any toxins, if there's any herbicides or pesticides, you're going to also get more of those. So always organic, okay? So we talked about the Bridal Beauty Smoothie. We talked about the Nourishing Detox, this cyclic fasting or crescendo fasting, death by sugar. I'm gonna send y'all some documents on that and supplement boosters. So here's a little timeline. I know many of you are you know, on a timeline, you're trying to get to the big day. And so here is a little timeline that I put together for some of my bridal clients here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And the average bride wants to lose 25 pounds. So that's two pounds a week for 12 weeks is usually the safe goal. Sometimes you do more, sometimes you do a little less. We definitely want that time frame. And then month four to six, just work on toning and getting fit and continuing the learning, you know, on supplements and cooking and nutrition and grocery shopping and just, you know, chemicals in your household. You're, you're moving into a new house with your future husband and you know, you want to stock your pantry and you want to buy all the new stuff. You know, we want to, I want to teach you about like honest brand and things like that. Those really neat companies. So that'll be times that you can spend really learning and growing for your future. And then month five, the month before is the dress fitting. We want to be at the ideal weight. We, we do not want to be stressing. So mindset and emotional, you know, support at that point is all we really want to be focused on. And then the last month, you know, looking at like the beauty detox again and juicing and hydrating, getting those liquids, using trace minerals. Anytime you still feel thirsty, throw trace minerals into your water, you know, boosting, you know, getting foods that are boosting of the beauty glow and the final touches. So there's a little timeline. So ladies, I have shared with you um, the beauty and wellness secrets. Some of the ones that I love and I hold near and dear to my heart and a lot of the strategies that you can implement. and you know, to eliminate bloating and to encourage the skin to glow. And we want a vibrant health for your big day. We want you to feel confident and stunning and walking down the aisle without any desire to be anybody else but you. I want you to be that empowered. 
and to be proud of what you've done for yourself. Like this is such an amazing step that you're taking for yourself. So, and I want you to enjoy the journey. I want you to have fun. I want you to send emails and send Facebook posts and be like, I tried all this, Catherine, and I love it, and I'm doing great, and it's fun, and I still get to go out with wine night and eat all the cake of cake testing, because I don't know how they're supposed to like only have a bite of each one of those. Like, I just want to eat them. So, so many people, you know, they just need to know the who, what, when, and why behind their health choices so they can be successful. And that's something I want to do. I've laid those out for you and I'm going to continue to give those information to you guys and I continue to pour you with knowledge. So if you would like to personally work with me or even have questions about the webinar today, I would be happy to go over some of this information with you guys. I'd be thrilled to do so. That's, that, is, that is my passion and that's who I am. So here's how we can do that. In the beginning, I said I had a gift. So for everybody that's on the call and anybody who maybe gets to watch it later and has some questions, please set, I've set some side, set aside some time to talk with each one of you. So to really go over some of these and how you can implement them in your life before the wedding. And so I don't want you to wait. I want you to book it as soon as possible because like I said, that timeline, you're on a crunch and I want you to have those goals before the day of. So it's completely free of charge. And so you know, this is not for everybody. I definitely want you to be able to be willing to make some changes, to follow through, you know, you can't, don't quit, don't, don't cheat on yourself. Like we definitely want you to be dedicated to yourself in this journey. So I'm offering these calls because I want to be of service. I want to be able to implement all that you learned today. I want you to be able to get off the call and go do it. And if you have questions, I'm here for you. So um, there's so much confusion out there and I understand that. So definitely book a call. I'm going to send you guys an email ladies to be able to do that. And I'm going to offer those calls. They do book up pretty quick and I do have a lot of clients here, but I, I definitely have, you know, 10 spots or so available for you. So some gifts that I'm going to send out to you is the bridal beauty smoothie. My two favorites, a soup recipe for the detox. So you, you understand like where I talked about even turnips and doing things that you wouldn't normally use, why we're going to use them and how to cook with them and how to make them delicious. So a sensational spaghetti sauce. You ladies, I have a bridal cookbook that I've created and it's absolutely beautiful. And so I talked about spaghetti sauce. I talked about high sugar things. One of them is spaghetti sauce. And so today I'm going to send you one of my favorite spaghetti sauces to help you overcome some of those hidden ingredients. And then the death by sugar segment will also come. So you'll get to really break that down and learn about how to pull that out of your diet and, and things to look for labels to read. So, um, this is just a disclaimer. I'm not your doctor. <laughs> I'm just giving you advice that's worked for me and I hope that it works for you. So that's all today. Um, again, I'm going to send everybody an email and it was such a pleasure to share all this information with you. If y'all have any questions, go ahead and type them in the chat or feel free to send them to me via Facebook or um, respond to any of my emails. And I'll be happy to help you with any of the things today, whether it was choosing supplements or, you know, picking out um, the foods that work for you or even how to do like the intermittent um, crescendo fasting or anything that you have questions about, please do not hesitate. It is my pleasure and it is my joy. Ladies, I'm excited for you. You have a beautiful future and we will be in touch.